Well, presidential hopeful Lindue Sisulu has lambasted the ANC Electoral Commission in a dispute of the nomination results of the party's top six race for leadership in the upcoming December conference. Sisulu put out a statement to the committee asking for evidence where the nomination results are concerned, stating that she believes she has made the 25% nomination threshold to be on the ballot for ANC president nominations. Only Drs. William Kiza and Soro Ramaphosa made it onto the list, while the other positions have three candidates. However, ANC Chief Luvani Mazzella has said that the 25% threshold is only applicable at the conference itself. Party President David Mabuza's camp has also echoed Sisulu's sentiments. Delay tactics or plausible argument? Political analyst Mzigayese Binza weighs in on the latest developments. Well, Mzigayese, the, the nominations are in, the front runners have emerged, and those who haven't made the cut, unfortunately, are now crying foul. Um, what do you make of these latest developments? Um, good morning, Chokozo, and the listeners uh, of the Newsroom Africa. Um, the issue here, which is quite understandable, is that if you are not on the list, um, as indicated uh, publicly by the um, ANC Electoral Committee, is that you get to be disadvantaged in terms of going out to the public and campaigning massively um, with that kind of accreditation that you are indeed recognized by your party to, but to be a, 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 an ANC president, hopefully. So that is basically the issue. There. And um, it does not mean that if she's not making it this time, and then um, she can't go out, of course, um, um, campaign, so that the branches at the conference still can still nominate. Her. So there's also that issue. I think um, if she's sure of her candidate, uh, uh, candidature, then I think she's supposed to be begging that at least at the conference there will be 100% uh, support, and even more than the support given to the two um, candidates um, on, the, on, on record. Mm. Indeed, I mean, it is strange that she is making these vehement um, sort of allegations and, and statements, um, given the fact that we know that her name could still be called out on the floor by branches come December 16th once the conference actually gets underway. So her candidature isn't in any way really at risk at this point. I suppose of concern for the African National Congress is how disparaging the commentary is around the nomination list, the fact that she believes that her efforts um, are being undermined. And I suppose as, you know, the, the committee chairperson of the electoral committee, Khalema Mochante, he's going to have to nip this in the bud, uh, at least to ensure that the integrity of the conference isn't in any way affected. Yeah, yes, I think... Um, uh the state president or the chairman of, of the committee has started to nip this matter on the bud um, by saying that the committee has followed all the rules of the, of the NEC and then also of the, of all the rules of the ANC constitution. Therefore, um, what the um, uh, Madam Sisulu um, is saying is therefore in a way out of order. So, uh, I mean, that committee... Um, uh, has backed um, uh, uh, Mr. Motlante to say it is true and then he is correct. Indeed. I want to talk and what we are not seeing, what we, what we are not seeing, uh, Madam and the listeners, is that um, is probably the, 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 the big noise, so to speak, uh, from the um, supporters of Lindy Wesisulu within the NEC and then within the ANC to say, but we have, we've been following the, uh, how the, um, the electoral committee works, and then we, we, we are also on his side to say the rules were not followed. But unfortunately, there is basically silence in, 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 the, in, in, in her supportive uh, corner within the party. So the best way, therefore, would be to, 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 to wait for the um, ANC conference itself and then where she can be, therefore, nominated by the branches. Mm, indeed.
I want to touch on, um, you know, President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa emerging as the front runner, garnering just over 2,000 of those branch nominations. Um, and the potential there is of him emerging as party president, but also that of Paul Mashatili emerging as deputy uh, party president. What does that combination look like, the Ramaphosa-Mashatile combination? Uh, and, and what sort of efforts does the Mashatile campaign have to really start putting in um, to make that union work? Because there are, of course, um, individuals, groupings within both camps that don't necessarily see eye to eye. And marrying the two, merging the two, will be key going into the elective conference. Very, very interesting, um, Tokoza and listeners. But let's, let's take history of it. Um, maybe start at the embryo of it uh, to say, person, at, at the personification level of the two um, candidates, is that they know each other and they are uh, coming from the same province. Um, needless to say that Ramaphosa was born in Lipom, but he grew up in Soweto. He did his all UTF works, local works of the ANC, Sanko and the Communist Party, the ANC Alliance. He led massively the, the community of the Republic of South Africa from that center of Soweto, where Mashatile comes from, from that province where Mashatile comes from. And when he went all out to become the ANC president um, during that time, uh, Mashatile and, 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 and his supporters, the whole Houting, were supporting Ramaphosa. Currently, Houting support Ramaphosa to, to get a second term. And that is where Mashatile is. So I think the, 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 it is clear that there are talks amongst the two at a personal level as well as at a leadership level of the AHC, we haven't seen how to um, branching out uh, unruly against Ramaphosa, but we have seen how to be more stable to say we want a stable African National Congress. So that's where Mashatile comes. So I, 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 I do foresee uh, if Mashatile wins a good uh, kind of work relation uh, between the two. And uh, yes, Ramaphosa comes and then um, he is, I think, the, the commanding chief currently. And the branches basically are saying, let us give you a, a second chance. And maybe whatever hole we found ourselves in, you may be able to take us out. We still trust you. So that's what is basically happening in this, in this, um, in this regard. Yes, Mashatila is still going to be confronted by the other two candidates because there are two candidates that he's basically... Um, uh, uh, working um, against. And then uh, it depends now on how those two candidates work from now that their names are actually announced by the Electoral Commission to massively gain support. Maybe that support may supersede the current support of, of, of uh, um, Mr. Mashatile mm. in this regard. Mm. And it also says more about what he has been, what he has been doing uh, in the office um, of the ANC during the past period, uh, did he did he did was was he able to do um, convincingly the, uh, the the outcomes the results that the ANC expected him to to produce during his last term, and uh, the, and I think that will be basically says more say more to uh, at the at the conference and to the people going forward in supporting because I think. It's now that he will be visiting the branches. So are other um, candidates hopeful of the ANC uh, deputy president? Mm, mm. Uh, you know, an angle that we've been running in our bulletins this morning, Zigayese, uh, is uh, former health minister Dr. Zwilim Kiza's efforts at campaigning out in Guanongoma in northern KZN. He, of course, speaking to the Nazareth Baptist Church, asking for blessings for his own presidential bid. He's in a very interesting position because his support is lagging behind 
that of a Cyril Ramaphosa, but he isn't out of the race at all, really. Um, the newspaper reports this morning suggesting that his camp might try to uh, sort of make uh, a, a suggestion or a, an application of sorts to the NDZ camp, for instance, to try and get the support that she has thrown behind him instead. Um, is that likely to be a successful bid on his, on his front? Well, because the paradox here is this, um, the members of the Nazareth Church are not in every branch of the ANC. Um, they are not going to go out to all of them to the conference and vote on the 16th to the 24th of December. That is the first thing. The second thing is that um, um, Mr. Mkiza went to KZN. Yes, KZN is one of the biggest province uh, support of the, I mean, um, ANC. But the, the one thing that he's busy with currently is just in, in his provincial home, you know, uh, province to gain support there. But I, I do foresee um, the um, the matter here that he's basically working on. That fine, I may win, good. But if I don't win, at least I will be commanding. Um, support to, to be looked at maybe in the next conference, to be looked at when the, the new president takes over to, to make me somebody. Remember, he, he resigned from the role of the um, um, ANC as well as from the state uh, role to, to look at the case that was actually um, facing him. And, and that indicates that he's a man of integrity. Now he's coming out of that uh, space, very painful space, to, to, to say, uh, I've done everything that, um, uh, uh, you know, I, I went through the process, I endured there, and that process has made me a leader. Now people throughout the provinces or throughout the, uh, the Republic of South Africa, not only in KZN, they want me to be the deputy president. I'm actually nominated. So he's basically saying, um, you know what, I, I, I can, he can do the job. And this idea, this so, notion, um, uh, you said this idea of him getting the support base that has been behind mm -hmm. Nkosa Zanadlamini Zuma, uh, trying to get that thrown behind his name, how successful do you think those efforts are going to be? Um, you, you see, cu currently the, um, the ANC provincial chairperson, he's really, uh, you know, um, going through <laughs> um, a hard time in this regard because the ANC in the province has announced to back the, the current president um, to, to get his second term. And then, of course, there are other branches that say, but uh, we want um, Mr. Mkize to, 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 to come in as a, as a president. So, and, and, and we must therefore bear in mind that anyway, uh, regardless, is that the ANC process, it starts with the branches, it goes to the districts, from the districts, and then it goes to the provinces. And then if the provinces have made that kind of announcement, then um, it, it would be very interesting to say if the uh, uh, province of Guazul Natal has submitted uh, both names, which name appear as number one, which, which appeared as number two, because they have to do that as well uh, and, and, and submit it to the, to the, to the national committee. Uh, responsible for the election in this in this in this regard, because for sure his name also came out from the polls. So is the name of um, um, Comrade uh, President Ramaphosa. Right. Well, Mzigai, thank you so much for your time, and of course coming on to the program this morning and sharing your insights with us. That was political analyst Professor Mzigai Binza.